Welcome to Conversations with Ernie Abelia. This afternoon we feature a singular artist. His name is Kublai Milan. He is internationally renowned for his massive pieces, but also for his new work, which is a very evocative form of visual art. This afternoon we invite you to enter into his mind, his heart, his soul and spirit, and let us look into the heart of an artist. Welcome. Kublai. Salamat Hi. kay ni Kwangka imong gipaunlakan atong request no to be able to have a conversation together. Kini nga kwan atong conversation is about about nimo, about sa imong trabaho, about sa imong pananawon. Okay. Na na kigingon nga nalingaw kay ko ba? Iyon ka nga adi good lingaw pero kana na intriga ko kay ing ano. You said about that the kind of uh, the the kind of work you've been doing Uh, lately, or part of the work that you've been doing lately is partnering with local governments where nga uh, ka nga mag-offer uh, mag a piece of art or monumental art and then, pero imong ginahang nga that you request that uh, the local government will also partner with you by providing certain facilities like suga, fountain, park And uh, then you said that it has a certain effect sa social environment. Sa mga good sa akong pagkaila sa imo, ma ang initial introduction ako sa imo was ano, it people's park in the bow. Nya, lahirin gud siya. It's a park but it's also for people. Pero naapod siya ay epekto gyud sa mga tao. Would you like to explain that? Sige, sige. Ah, uh, ingay ni magud na. To, to, to get to people's park was a really long process. Uh -huh. In my journey as an artist, oh. Ah, nagsugod ko in in Ponce Suites if you're familiar with the hotel yes, that, yes, that yes. um I've filled with hundreds and hundreds of artworks. Kato siya kay very personal para sa ako to. Uh -huh. you know? But People's Park was my my big break, you know? uh -huh. It was um commissioned by the by the LGU of Davao City. Okay. Um through the leadership ni Mayor Digong Sauna. I see. Uh, I see. So, yan yan na na Lai, sa may imong kuan dia, ikaw bahala ka na ko. So, I think People's Park was a major success for for Davao City and also for for me as an artist. Kay imagine mo no na na kanang it was it's a several hectare park and then the sculptures are all smiling. Mm. Ka kuan ko na ba na, na, na ni suri ko sa una nagasali-sali ko sa Europe ba? kanang ilahang mga monumento dito mm. nagmugot man tanan <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you study oh. and then ano man sila ano man sila mo oh. mag serious ra kayo mga kuan oh. dito oh. ba but but look at the Filipinos look at us we, we are naturally happy correct, correct. ngan mo man ang naturally happy because we are so blessed mm. we're so, we're we're blessed with uh, with the land that's so giving so who are we to to kanang ngano magmugot man ta mm. so i think If you project mm -hmm. um, through sculptures and monuments and parks, mm -hmm. this kind of um, kanang bearing before for us Filipinos, mm -hmm. na, na, na happy ta. Mm -hmm. So, mautog it na ako. It mm -hmm. was the whole park is filled with children, mm -hmm. na smiling, featuring the local Pinoy, culture, Pinoy. local mm -hmm. local food, local mm -hmm. dances, local mm -hmm. local rituals, may ngana. So. Kublai, uh, how many people visit every day? At the time when, when we record, gina nila, oh. around 25,000. 25,000 people. When we opened. 25,000 oh. people. So, murag naagyoy, naagyoy hatak ang lugar, no? May hatak. Oh. Unsa man sa panghuna-huna ni mo itong hatak na kuhan? Ima imagine ka niya, um, define art, di ba? Oh. Grabe naman ang art, kay, oh. lalum na kayo na na discussions, no? Oh. Pero, Wa to kag bukid ako manggod kay immersed kay ko sa mga mga municipalities and mm. sa mga mga communities. Musong mm. tikag art. Wa man sila definition sa art. Oh, no, unsa man na imong kuan mo butang kag painting unsa man na. Oh, oh. No. So, me as an artist, no, as a painter, as a visual artist, murag di man mao no to, to insist my art mm. into into societies and into communities kay mm. dili mao. Dili ko ka connect. Mm. So, this was When I, I shifted from from being just a painter 
mm. into a monument maker. Mm, oh, nga nung nga nung monument maker, no? Mm. Nga nung nga nung parks and monument, nang dag ko. Mm. Okay? Kay lagi kung gagmay, butang sa kwarto, butang sa opisina, agihan raman. Mm. At the time, mm. I, I'm talking 1980s, 1990s. Right, right. Gawang na ta, no? Mm. Na, at ano itong experience. But at the time, art was not the kind of art na na ginabutang sa wall. Wala mang gani, wall ang mga probinsya. Correct. Wala may nga na. Mm. So, we had to to grow with with uh, the society at the time. So, the only way for me to connect to society is to ang kuan mo na amurag sa amo sa training nawo ba first mm. rule is attention mm. o sige attention mm. i will put my my works in the middle of streets mm. so meaning literally it was in rotonda mm. rotondas mm. around mindanao mm. so literally we will literally stop you tibudang man ka sa kanan so mo na siya first step undang ka kay sa kadako mm. tapos pag tanaw mo sa kadako na may na may subject, na may mm. meaning, na may kwan, mm. unsa man na, mm. na sila, so mm. nag-connect na ko with my, with with the locals, mm -hmm. no? mm -hmm. so if you are connecting with the locals, you might as well, you might as well, anak ko, I might as well um, inject, encapsulate what's the beauty of that specific municipality, mm. but other than the beauty, kapag mo story ka ka ng dinot anay aning mga mm. kwan, mga lokal na amay unod. Mm. So, how do you embed these values? Mm. I try my best to mm. to encapsulate those in mm. my works. You know, uh, nakagipakita sa akong uh, image sa Osaka work ni mo sa Osaka town diri sa south, no? And eh, katong na ato mga, mga there was some, there was a man playing a guitar in Kakristianisha. Ah, okay, there was okay. a man playing here. Pero ang nindot nato, nindot, I mean, for attention getting, you got the attention. But then you said that there was a certain effect on the people. Nag-ingon sila nga, Uy, apil man di ay ta. Can you tell me about that? I was very young then. Okay. Ambitious too. Anak ko, buhat na mo to sa Rotonda, sa South Cotabato, Surala, no municipality. All right. Okay. Nga ni, simple kaya itong akong concept ato. The... Main symbol dito na towering is the two string loot. No? Okay. Sa Tiboli pa tawagan ni Hegalong. Katong paana? Paana oh, oh. Hegalong. Tapos around the Hegalong naggawas ang design ako nga bohong. Bohong is a indigenous plant. Mm. Tapos when I did my research, kuan day siya ginagamit siya as more armor mm. during the giragira niya sa una mm. kanang binatyanay kanang clannish wars mm. or kuan. No? So it's it's a bohong plant as an armor and then um, other symbols of the design is the tinonggong, which mm. is the drum, mm. and the local, the traditional drum, and the agong. Mm. So, akong pangutana ato sa kuan ba? <coughs> okay, katong mayor man po dito ka ng, uh, kuan, ano siya ba? Kublay, art is, uh, um, let's make art a tool for nation building. But asa mm. man ta magsugod ani? Mm. Kanira man atong kuan, and then wala agi kwarta. Sa IGO, rami, ah, was kang gamaya mm -hmm. yun. So, anak ko dito, anak ko. It was an anniversary, the first time na pas kang daghan ng tao, siguro the whole town na dito. Ano ko sa ilaha? Asa, gatudlo ang hegalong, ang giant loot. So, imagine mo ang sabay-sabay, thousands of people. Sabay-sabay sila, milingi all the way to the sky. Ano ko, sa langit, no? So, kita ni mo, the point is, The, the heavens. Mm, uh, mm. Anak ko, kanang buhong na tanong, tanaw daw yung dahon, mm. asa man na nagtudlo. Mm. So, kita nila, pag anak sa buhong, no, nag nagtudlo sa sa tanang directions. Mm. When they try to look at all directions, nagtinanaway sila. Mm. So, mm. you are actually looking at each other. Mm. Your neighbor, your fellows. Mm. Mm. So, that is the message. Mm. Pag anak na, next na ako, question. Mm. Na, wala kayo ko na-explain. Ang tanan ako, mm. Mm. asa, nakatungtong, ang tinonggong. Mm -hmm. ah, tanaw sila tanan sa yuta. Mm. Oh, such, such a beautiful story. Right, Tapos right. asa ga vibrate uh -huh. ang agong mm. sa dughan, sa tunga. Ah, mm. naman siya. Mm. The, the sound comes asa gikan ang tingog sa sa agong kundi mm. sa tunga. So it's, mm. it comes from within. Mm. And finally, in the middle of the out in front of the whole monument, there's a a pond mm -hmm. with a waterfall. So that's a 
at a uh, space for reflection. Uh-huh. So imagine mo how if, kung wala gi explain sa artist ba. Mm. And, uh, but but somehow subconsciously we we plant this beautiful values to to our people, mm. no? Hoping that that na gay na changes gamay ang kuan ba na. But but personally ha, personally ako, di pa gid kay ko from as an artist na na in just a matter of how many years na no, makita nimo that that nag-change gid ang municipality mm-hmm. no kita niyo bibugid kay sila compared to before mm-hmm. no that that's the change that that a kind of monument that that na nag naiunod ba mm-hmm. no naiunod sa ilahang kuan tapos and we also feature dito kay agihan naman to sa tanan mm-hmm. the, the 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 brothers and sisters from the muslims mm-hmm. so sa ilahang magud lahi magud nang ilahang pag-interpret sa art mm-hmm. kay Okay, sa mga sa ilang religion bawal man na na mga tao. But but this is not a religious piece. Correct. So but but there I sculpted the Maguindanao. Okay. No, okay, pag drive ka dito Maguindanao man na. Oh. Makita gid namo na dagko kay mga sakyanan. Hmm. Undang sila magpa-picture pa sila musod siya. Uy, appeal day ta ana. Okay. Appeal day ta we are part of the right. story. Right. And it's such an inclusive uh, kanang piece of work na sila mismo maka makakonek right. uh, so it's amazing uh, uh, so, you, you think kublay nga uh, na ana sa epekto kanang do people eventually get that message you think ang ako one of my principles is um, i believe lang ha oh, na you don't yes. people don't have to follow me i believe that the parks and the monuments and the many sculptures that i do are 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 sacred circles okay so mura ra golon ba na, oh. so imagine nimo If you go to towns, no? Yeah. Buhat kag sacred circle. Kanang sacred circle mo expand. Mm. Imagine we if we surround Mindanao and the Philippines with all these sacred circles, sacred parks, people gathering, family talking, uh, relationships, mm. guapo kay baso. Guapo ang mo guapo atong nasod. Because we are <laughs> we amazing. are we are putting up we are declaring uh, spaces a sacred you uh, you know Gubla, you I, i keep hearing you say monuments and they are massive no a lot of your work <laughs> is massive nga no man ah mo gani um it's the, the message is just too big <laughs> to, to be done in a small way okay. ano po okay. no that, that's or it's just too beautiful it's just too beautiful not to be shared so or, yeah. so but but the the, the toll is on on sculptors like me because it's just also too difficult to build but why do we do we labor so hard because we believe in it mm-hmm. pero okay. pero other than believing mang good ako mang good um there's the other side of me na kanang i i see myself as a as a medium no dili ko artist mm. yeah, the, there is a bigger artist mm. than me i see myself as a, as a medium for higher instruction So there are kuana kanang mga mga mass graves nato di sa Philippines sa so, mm. Typhoon Yolanda, Typhoon uh, Pablo. Ako nag kuan ko ana, nagtabang ko ana, nag build ko ana for years. Grabe akong hago. But hey, adili man ako ang artist. So I will fade out, I will die, but the, the message will always be there. And uh, but it's it's amazing because uh, in, you have these programs katong uh, naga support ko og mga regional artists no mm. na kay mga training programs but before I'd like uh, before you go into that about your training programs uh, I'll just outside your this beautiful sanctuary na kay kabaw <laughs> na kay kabaw nga and sa soon sa kabaw nimo I, I at first I thought it was just just a caraba outside na may sword no mm. na she sword uh, and i i mentioned thank you you have a very special mind would you like to describe your work process ginoon sa man ah kwan ko kanang i i i always i i i am always in search for deeper narratives na ngita gid ko kanang use me ana ko ana ko sa use me as a as a medium for that kanang malalum nga storya this one was A very deep story. Abi ni mo ka nang yeah from the, di ba? Ekao agi ka kita ka. Uy dakong kabaw. Uy dakong mm. uy. Sa mm. mana? I mean, oh. na, I, ah. there's a bull in New York. Ah. It's just a bull, you know. <laughs> But, so, so, so what's so special about this carabao is that they are made from hospital beds. 
Made this from? Junk hospital bed. This junk uh, hospital old beds. Old hospital beds All na right. di na magamit. Right. Instead of, of selling the government, no, uh, lo, uh, public hospital selling them to mm. to the junk shops, dihatag sa ako ah. Mm. Anak ko, I will give it back to you but not today. Mm. One day. Actually, in the next few days, in June 28, we will be unveiling a two-story carabao. Ako yung gid ka ini. Two-story uh, carabao. So, ingan niya ang story, ana, na this hospital beds, ingan niya kasimple akong, akong pagsabot, ha? These hospital beds are, are used by the poorest, not just poorest, but poorest sick Filipinos. Imagine, have you... Have you ever been sick in a public hospital? You are that poor na mulingkod ka doon sa iyang gibati, on sa iyang problema, on sa iyang gi... Just to, to get that... that kuan ba? Uh, so, I wanted people to feel that. How do I do that? Unsa ang closest sa nag-struggle na... na kuan, anak ko tanaw, ang kabaw na... Ah, mubira. Kuan, agin siya, no? Ka, init ta, aglaw, bira agin siya. So, this is the struggle of the Filipino for me. This 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 carabao. But but until when will the Filipino struggle? Diba? So I have here a carabao around Pilanaka feet, around 12 feet. No? There's a hospital bed there. People can go up. Na may hagdan mo abriyang tiyan. People can go up and lie down on the bed and feel how it's like to be poor and sick. But in ta in my new work karon is two story. This carabao has triumphed. Mao niya akong gibilib. Ang Pilipino sa iyang kahago mo triumph kid na dili pwedeng dili. So I have to make this huge huge carabao made of hospital beds again. Na paskang dignified gid siya di na nakaduko na kaana na gid siya. Dako kay siya bigger than you, bigger than me, bigger than every one of us. So this is now the Filipino spirit for me. It's resilient. It's um, it's it's ah, uh, kanang kanang grabe siya ka kuan ba kanang nag, nag dignified na siya ba because of of what we have, our culture, our resources, everything that is that is that, that is Filipino. Na ako y kanang ginatawag na ako ni because daghan kay kung kabaw ginay mo. I call this the carabo effect. Ah, uh, carabo effect. Carabo effect. <clears throat> In a word, in a sentence or two, what is what is a carabao? Um, it's pull. You pull your fellows. Uh, if you made it there, you pull your fellows up until we all get there. Uh, that's the carabao effect. Thank you. <laughs> uh, just for this segment, we just like to wind up by just saying how one artist seems to be able to make a make an effect that can actually impact a nation. We'd like you to show you now um, images of this Carabao and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get a sense of the Carabao effect. <laughs> Thank you. Let us make this Carabao the most dignified Carabao Ever. Hey. Even the design of this park from the top, you could see the shape of Corona, like the virus. But look at this carabao standing on top of this virus. We have triumphed. The Filipinos have triumphed. For most of us who have who have triumphed, no? let us pull our fellow men who are still down there. So that is the core message of this carabao.
ay tungod sa rig kumitako. Kuyaw kayo ng tago.